Good morning, listeners of Hot Topic and Fresh News. Today, the 23rd of December, 2023, we're bringing you the day's most essential news. In a tragic turn of events, the Czech Republic is mourning a mass shooting that occurred at a Prague University. 14 lives were lost in a deadly attack at the Faculty of Arts building of Charles University. The shooter, a student at the university, ended his own life following the incident. This horrendous act marks one of the most fatal lone gunman assaults in Europe in this century. The victims included Lenka Hlavkova, head of the Institute of Musicology, Jan Dlask, a translator and Finnish literature expert, and student Lucy Spindlerova. The gunman is also suspected to have killed his father at a different location, and a young man and his two-month-old daughter found dead in a forest on the outskirts of Prague. Prime Minister Petr Fiala has condemned this horrendous act, expressing shock and sadness. In these troubled times, our thoughts go out to the victims and their families. Good morning, everyone. This is your host, Emily. And I'm David Newstock, joining you today. We're here every day on Hot Topic and Fresh News. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's get straight to the Hot Topics. Can you tell us more about the events that unfolded at Charles University? Absolutely. The shooting began around three in the afternoon local time at the Faculty of Arts building in the heart of Prague. It's reported that the gunman opened fire in the corridors and classrooms before taking his own life as security forces closed in. And what's known about the victims? Among the 14 victims were Lenka Hlavkova, head of the Institute of Musicology, Jan Dlask, a translator and Finnish literature expert, and a student named Lucy Spindlerova. What's the response been like from officials? The Czech Prime Minister Petr Fiala expressed shock and condemned the act, stating the pain and sorrow the whole society is feeling, especially in the days leading up to Christmas. Is there any additional information about the perpetrator? It's believed the gunman also killed his father at a separate location He's also a suspect in the deaths of a young man and his two-month-old daughter found in a forest outside of Prague. In other news, that's not the only shocking development we're covering today. Can you believe what's been happening recently? The shooter had been expelled from school previously. Is that right? Yes, he had been expelled the previous autumn. This incident reminds us of similar tragic events in Europe over the years. Would you mind elaborating on that? Absolutely. In Germany in March 2009, a 17-year-old killed 15 people in a shooting that began at his former school before he moved on to another town. In Serbia in April 2013, a military veteran killed 13 people, including a two-year-old boy, and injured his wife in a village outside Belgrade. It's a chilling reminder. Could you tell us a bit more about Charles University? Founded in 1347, Charles University is the oldest and largest university in the Czech Republic, with a rich history that places it among the oldest institutions of its kind in Europe. This tragic incident is a dark moment in its long history. Thanks to all who joined us on Hot Topic and Fresh News today. We've been deep diving into some high priority news and your attention has been much appreciated. If you haven't already, Please subscribe and activate notifications so our discussions are always on your radar. And if you've enjoyed our take on the news, do share the podcast with your network through social media groups or even in one-on-one conversations. Your feedback is equally welcome. Don't hesitate to leave us a comment. And remember, folks, we're here dishing out insights every single day. There's always more to come, more news, more analysis, more thought-provoking commentary, And hey, who knows? You might just find your new favorite piece of trivia in one of our episodes. We're truly grateful for each one of you and can't wait to have you back for our next episode. Until then, folks, remember, stay in the loop, keep your eyes on the news. Our channel's content will amuse.